Sup guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a matte ombre uh, look and then a glitter red lipstick. So if you want to see how I did this, then keep on watching. Okay, so for primer, I'm going in with e.l.f.'s Daily Hydration Moisturizer. And then on top of that, I'm going to be using Martian's Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner which I love so much. I honestly, like, if you don't want oil on your face for the entire night, then you want it. And don't forget to put some on your neck, because we will be extending the foundation down there as well. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with a mixture of Too Faced Born This Way uh, foundation in snow and Kat Von D's uh, Locket foundation in 42 Light Neutral. And so what I do is I take a pump of the Too Faced and then a pump of the Kat Von D and then uh, with my finger I just go in and I mix it together and just put it on my face. And with Marc Jacobs, the Face One uh, foundation brush, I'm just gonna go in and buff it in. I'm gonna take a mixture of two concealers, and I'm gonna do NYX's Studio Photogenic Concealer in 01, and uh, Two Faces Born This Way, concealer in Very Fair. So I'm going to go in with this first. And then taking the Born This Way, I'm going to put that in there as well. I'm going to do it over the other one just so it can match my skin tone. Usually I don't like to cake things on because caking just makes me feel gross, but you do as much as you want, boo. Like, I'm not going to judge you. And so then you take a damp beauty blender and just bump that in. And then with this Tarte brush, I'm going to go in and set my face with the Kat Von D Locket uh, powder in Translucent. Oh. Okay, okay. It, it really works. It's really fun to just, I mean, I just do this a few times. And, I mean, I know I need to put more, but I always get distracted. Now we're gonna do our eyebrows. What I do is I take Sephora's uh, angled brow brush and NYX's Tame and Frame from uh, an espresso, and I'm gonna just do my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna go in with the uh, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion for priming my eyes. And so you just take it and you it all over. Oh yeah. And then I know this is a forbidden rule, but take your finger and get that all over your eye. I know, I know, it's like crazy to use your finger. I mean, it's just kind of not seen as like something you should do, but I do it anyway because forget rules. Like, I'm my own person. I make the rules. We're gonna go into this NYX palette called Avant Pop. And in, and in the crease, we're gonna go in with this color. And to go into the crease, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette uh, eye brush because it's honestly perfect for blending and it 
just I fell in love with it so I guess that's the reason I don't know it's really good get it With this Sephora blending crease brush, I'm going to go in to the main palette of this look, which is the Naked Tutorials and Too Faced The Power of Makeup. You can always match it because this is this was a limited edition and I got it before it went away. So you can always color match. I know that Colored Rain has a color called Chocolate, which is just like the makeup and chill we're gonna use because we're gonna use makeup and chill pink color and ivy ivy is just a plain white so it's just matching that middle color that matters the most so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take makeup and chill and we're gonna put it in the outer corners of the eyes And with this Sephora large angled shadow, I'm going to go in to, with the same palette and do a painkiller on the center of the lid and blend it into the outer corners. This is a very simple look. It's a very easy look to do and it always looks good no matter how you do it. Ombre always looks good. You know, if you have the right colors, then you can do the right steps, and then you can do the right look. So never be discouraged by any makeup tutorials thinking you can't do it, because honestly, if you have practice and you have time and you have you put effort into it, then I'm pretty sure, like 100% sure, everything will be okay. On the inner corners, we're gonna take Ivy from the same palette and put it on the inner corners. With, a, with the Urban Decay uh, E210 brush that comes with the Moon Dust palette. And with this small uh, Morphe E36 brush, I'm gonna go in with a nude color. I'm gonna go into my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm gonna take I'm going to take tempura and I'm going to clean up some lines right here to make it look sharper and neater and nicer. They do look really, really nice and I'm really loving them right now actually. And with that same brush, go in with Makeup and Chill and put it on the under eye. And with this Sephora pointed liner brush, I'm going to go in with Temper again and put it on the brow bone. And just to keep that matte feel, we're going to go in with the same brush in Ivy and put it on the inner corners to keep that matte feel to it. And then we're going to use the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Cue up close video of my eyes now. Okay, so for contour, I'm going to be taking this crown brush. It's the SS023 Jumbo is the SS023 Jumbo Kabuki fan. And for contour, I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer and just put it on the cheeks, the cheekbones, and snatch yourself, baby. And then with the Morphe M405 brush, we're going to go into another Too Faced product called the Perfect Flush Blush in Candy Glow. And 
And with this Morphe B4 brush, we're going to go into the Becca Highlighter Preston Pearl, and we're going to highlight this face and blind the haters. So now that we have all of that done, we're going to take NYX's Dewy Finish Long Lasting uh, Setting Spray and just put that all over the face. And I just fan this in with my hands because we're going to do the coolest part of the video where we're going to do a red lip with sparkles. We're going to take the NYX's slide on glide on stay on and a definitely turn on waterproof extreme colored lip liner wow that's really long and it's in the it's number 12 and it's red tape and we're gonna line our lips now that our lips are lined we're gonna go in with the stila stay all day liquid lipstick in basil and we're gonna put this all over the lips hunty I cannot get over how good that smells oh my God. and now we're gonna just let that dry and I'll see you back in a second cute close-up video of these awesome red lips Now we're gonna do the glitter part. Now, I have two glitter uh, gel liners, whatever. I have two glitter liners, and they're both by Urban Decay, the heavy metal collection. And I have Junk Show and Glam Rock. And so you kind of go in a zigzag motion. I like to start off with, uh, what is it, Glam Rock? And I go, I just do kind of like a zigzag motion. Well, you'll see. So I go in, and I go down, you always have to keep going down, and then go up, and then go down, and kind of like don't go up and down, like tap it. So now you let that dry a little bit and when you're doing the top lip have one side of it having on the little curve the uh, the silver and the other side have the pink so it's like it looks evenly distributed and then you go in with the other one and just do the same thing and cue lip face close up because this look is done. I'm gonna go uh, dry this hair and then I'll be back in a second. Yeah, so here's my look. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you liked it, Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I make videos all the time now. Even though I only have two, it's fine because, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's it for now and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Bye!